Good morning, folks. Solar IMG is one of the best solar watching sites, but they're down right now, currently protesting CISPA. Having a look at notable quakes over the last 24 hours, this is less than 100 miles from the geographic North Pole. We've had quakes in this general area before the last few months, but never this far north. There's three or four over the last 24 hours way up at the top of the world. We had the largest Caribbean plate quake in about a month as well, a bit south of 5.6 off the coast of Chile, and some moderate seismicity on the southwestern side of India. Extreme weather destroyed more than 500 homes in Bangladesh yesterday, and a few hours ago it's caused a landslide in China. The lone space weather event from last night is this anomaly here. It might even be a glitch. It would suggest that the ionosphere had a sudden influx of cosmic radiation. Now without a gamma ray burst or solar activity during that time, this is either bad data or an unfortunately placed hole in the magnetosphere. Having a look at the northern solar disk, the dark coronal hole is turning away from us on the right. On the top left, you can see yet another one of these plasma filaments creating a coronal cavity, a hole in the corona. Remember when people thought these were spaceships? Looking south, this bright region on the bottom left here is the bright region on the bottom right of the stereo BEUVI-195, with the Earth off to the right. I wanted to bring your attention to that because you can see just to the left of it a large, dark region. This is the major corona hole that's been here twice before, coming around for round three right now. You might remember this occurred just days before Saturn opposed the Sun, and when we look at April's significant quakes, we can see a bit of a bunching near that time, fitting our quake model. When the sun goes down tonight, Venus will be at its brightest point. Get out there and see it while you can. She is fading as she comes in for transit in June. The moon will be very close to Mars tonight and tomorrow. It will move next to Saturn over there on the left a few days later. By that time, this coronal hole will be easily visible on the Earth-facing disk. Remember, May 6th, about that time, the moon is a supermoon, closest it will be to the Earth all year. Just two minutes before it aligns with Earth and Sun is the full moon. That day Saturn will be geocentrically opposed to Mercury and it's just a few days before Jupiter will be moving in for a solar conjunction. Repeat quake situation? Maybe. Lots coming up here folks. Eyes open. That's the news. Be safe.